Icom 705 on 60 meters. Now, I didn't know this, and it's not immediately obvious, because uh, if you look at my Icom 705 here, when you um, select the frequency, um, these are the bands, um, there is no 60 meters on there. So I did not think that the Icom 705 worked on 60 meters, but um, it's not well advertised on uh, in Icom's literature either, and I can't find any videos on um, YouTube of people using these on 60 meters. Now, I can't claim credit for this. Someone else showed me this uh, earlier today. Um, and uh, I tried it on my radio and it works. My radio is brand new. I bought it about two weeks ago here in the UK. So it's an EU version. Um, if you've got one of the uh, American versions or uh, from somewhere else in the world, it may not work. I don't know. I've only tried this on my one, which is an EU one. Uh, the person who showed me this told me that you need the latest version of the firmware. Um, installed. I don't know if this is, if, I don't know if they're right or not, but uh, at the time of filming this video, the latest firmware is version 1.2, which you can check on your radio. I'll show you how to do that. And um, here in the UK at least, and this will vary elsewhere in the, you know, depending where you are in the world. So uh, check your local regulations. We don't have the full five megahertz band here. We have uh, bandlets, um, like frequencies between which we can operate, um, but it doesn't cover the whole band. So for example, I can transmit on five, uh, 5.2585 megahertz, or it's in kilohertz here, 5258.5 kilohertz, up to 5264 kilohertz, then I'm out of band until I get to 5276 kilohertz and uh, I can transmit again up to 5284 kilohertz but then again I'm out of band until I get to the 5288.5 kilohertz so um, you have to be very careful here in the UK um, if you're in a different country it might vary this is on the uh, RSGB website by the way and um, they give you uh, guidelines here on the spot frequencies which they recommend you use. Now I tend to operate portable from SOTA Summit so uh, do you really want to print this out and take it with you and I wouldn't trust myself to memorize all of this so uh, unless you've got a very good memory and you probably don't want to be taking this out on the summit with you printed so I would save these frequencies into the memories on your icon but um, if I uh, take you back onto the uh, icon radio down here and you can check your firmware I'll very quickly show you that so you go menu uh, set others which is the very bottom of the list uh, information and uh, version and there you go see I'm running um, I'm running version 1.2 which like I said at the time of uh, Filming this is the latest version. So if you can't select uh, the 60 meter band from your uh, band stacking register here, how do you do it? Well, you need to select um, 80 meters or seven um, or 40 meters. You can go from seven megahertz. I'll choose 80 meters. It, it doesn't matter. You can go from uh, 80 meters or 40 meters and then just use your VFO wheel and um, keep winding up. Now, four and a half megahertz is outside of the amateur band, so it shouldn't let me transmit. So just to prove I've not wide banded this radio or um, made any modifications, uh, four and a half megahertz outside the amateur band, it should not let me transmit. So if I uh, take the mic and key up, and um, you'll see on both the displays here and on this, um, uh, MFJ tuner down here, the power output. There you go, I'm keyed up. And absolutely nothing. So this hasn't been modifi uh, modified. This is a standard radio. It's, it won't let me transmit out of band. Now if I carry on going up to, uh, I think it's about 5.3 is, uh, uh, is in the band, at least in some parts of the country. 
and uh, if I key up now, you'll see, I'm in, there less, in the lower sideband. You see on both the icon meters up here and on the uh, meter down here that if I key up, it'll be uh, putting out power. See, so I'm putting, I'm connected to an external power supply, so I'm putting out 10 watts. I should point out, um, I've not actually got an antenna uh, connected to this radio. This uh, coax cable is connected to this uh, MFJ tuner, but if you look down the bottom here, uh, my antenna selector is on dummy load. I'm just using this tuner as a dummy load, just so that I don't um, knack in my ICOM 705 by, uh, transmitting without an antenna. There is actually no antenna transmit, uh, connected to this, so I shouldn't be uh, causing anyone any bother. So there you go. And then, like I said, I suggest uh, putting um, those spot frequencies in your uh, VFO, uh, in your uh, memories, just, just so that you don't forget them. So here, if we go into memory mode, um, you can see I've uh, put them all in here. So there's uh, QRP, CW frequency, um, MCOM center of activity, which um, will be, I guess, Raynet, but I don't know how many groups actually use uh, 60 meters. Um, I guess some of them do. Uh, there's your upper sideband frequencies, uh, AM frequency, um, WRC 15 band, which uh, basically means it's aligned with other countries, so other countries around Europe can use those uh, frequencies if I want to talk outside the UK. Uh, FT8, you have to be very careful with. You'll notice on the, um, on the uh, screen I showed you earlier from the RSGB, they show a different frequency for uh, weak signal modes, which would include your uh, FT8. The trouble is, no one else anywhere in the world is using those frequencies. So uh, this is the frequency that uh, most people, certainly around Europe, seem to use on FT8. The problem with this is you have to be very careful because um, if you uh, transmit on that, you can actually go out of band. So you need to set your uh, transmit frequency in your um, uh, WSJTX software um, below uh, 950 hertz and you can see I put a little uh, reminder there FT8 below 950 hertz if you go above 950 hertz you will actually be out of band at least here in the UK um, your region may vary so um, yeah there you go the ICOM 705 it's not immediately obvious but it will work on 60 meters as standard straight out the box. Like I say, I've not made any modifications to this one uh, whatsoever. Um, I've literally taken it out of the box, put the latest firmware on it. I don't know if it'll work with earlier firmware versions. Um, I've not tried it. The person who showed me this uh, said you need the latest firmware in. So uh, there you go. If you've got a ICOM 705, at least a, like I said, I bought this in the UK, so this will be an EU spec ICOM 705. I don't know about other regions. If you've got an EU spec ICOM 705, it will work on 60 meters straight out of the box uh, as standard with uh, absolutely no modifications or wide banding or anything like that. Mm -hmm.